So, after cleaning and rearranging the whole Zelf shelf, I tried something different where I've put them roughly into color coordinated displays. And the cork board with the fairy lights. The jewel puppy surprise is a video of her unboxing on the channel. So this is what it looks like so far. 95% completed fairy lights. Zelfs. The zelfs are all done. And... The only thing I need to finish off here is I've got these shoppets on tiers, on these clear tier displays. I picked these up from Daiso for a few dollars each. Um, but I'm going to have to raise them a bit because you can see them all when you stand up. But when I'm looking at them from my bed... I can't really see the ones at the back. So everything else is looking absolutely gorgeous. And I will show you what it looks like in the dark. So this is how the fairy lights look like with just the light of a salt lamp. Beautiful. Excuse my cat t tapping things in the background. So... They're the fairy lights, all in the secure tree. And the beautiful jewel mermaid with slumber party mermaid pre unboxing. And I'll just turn this flash off so you can see the whole effect. So that's what the whole gorgeous display looks like with the fairy lights and the sparkling glitter and here's my bedside table so I've got my two porcelain dolls with my dragon and where I keep my water glass over there so that's Angelique to the right and Lynette and she's being featured in the doll reincarnation video so that's my bedside table and that's without the flash so so we'll be unboxing jewel and showing the entire display with Jewel out of the box in the sunlight. Hello dreamers! So I was finally able to get around to filming the rearranged Zelf shelf in the daylight. So here's my little setup. I've got a cork board surrounded by fairy lights that I have all of the rare Zelf stuff pinned here. I folded in this in I folded this in half, but I usually actually um, I like having pen pals and writing letters, so I would usually have my letters up here on display especially if they wrote something nice on cute paper and I've got my little sea monkey stuff this is to hopefully bring the rare rainbow sparkle shop it my way so I've pinned her up in the hopes of that coming my way and I'm in a competition for some build a bear stuff and this is just a little pure pure sparkles thing that I have because I have all of them and I just love the artwork are any of you guys my little pony fans I've got this corked up on my little manifesting board I love 
I can't stand late season Pinkie Pie. They basically changed her whole character. But I love early season Pinkie Pie. She was my favorite character. But now I prefer Applejack and Rarity. And obviously Twilight Sparkles is amazing. But yeah, early season Pinkie Pie was amazing. But now she's kind of a jerk or just... I don't know what they did with her. They changed her. And this was my letter from the Toys R Us that I got when they sent me the little Jeffrey doll and some pins that they sent me. And this is the map of where the Zelfs live. So I framed that. So that's the little Zelf world. And as promised in the Zelf Tour video, I promised that I would show you the rare Zelfs out of the display case. So here are, here they are. We've got Julie, and she's got the wings here. We've got Miss Clover, and we've got my cat in the background making noise. So I'll just get rid of her. And <laughs> we have Miss Clover. There was a really cool story about how I got her. She was actually a birthday present. And the last time you saw her, she was in the display case. And I did a whole one hour Zelf tour of every single Zelf. But I never really went into details about the rare ones because I was saving that for another time. But this is the gorgeous Miss Clover. She's one of the rares. She is the first rare that I got and she is the first rare from uh, season one. Gosh, she's gorgeous with her little blushing cheeks. And the person that gave it to me uh, gave her to me as a birthday present, but they also set up a series of little clues with little places where all the other Zelfs were hiding around the house, and they hid the Zelfs around the house, and then they tied these little clues to the Zelfs' arms, and I had to go and read all of these clues and go find where they were around the house and then the final clue led to where Miss Clover was and her package so that was a really 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 fun way for me to find her and as you guys know I struggle with my health so I couldn't actually get out that year for my birthday um, I was sort of stuck in the house and I was really ill and uh, they, my friend wanted to make something really fun for me while I was still inside. So that was really lovely because usually when that happens, um, basically my birthday is just cancelled and I hadn't really had a lot of good people to do something like that. So that was really lovely of them. So that's how I got Miss Clover, which I thought was a really lovely story. And these are the other rares, which are really cool. Look at this one. So we've got... Wow, she looks so cool. So I've got their names up here. We have... So we've got Clover. Clover Julie. Um, they say it here, so Snurfy. So we've got her... Oh, they don't say it on there, but yeah, Snurfy the White Tiger. Um, and then you've got, yeah, you've got the Pyramid for each one. So for the Pharaoh one. And for Perlene, we have um, this little holographic shell. And we have this for merry-go-round, Mary D, merry-go-round. So that's merry-go-round and Perlene, or sh was it Perlene or Shimmer? Gosh, I used to know this all off by heart. But Perlene is the rare mermaid self. So she's all silvery. 
Yeah, of course she's pearling. She's all silvery and gorgeous like that. And I've been keeping her up here in the Sakura tree with the beautiful fairy lights all up in here. And then we have Jewel Puppy Surprise, which I've unboxed before. Um, and we have Snowfy. <laughs> cute little snowfy she's one of my favorite ones she's actually flopped so she actually feels fuzzy and she was one of the main reasons I kept them in the display case so she wouldn't get dusty or dirty at all so she's gorgeous so it's snowfy the white white snow leopard one with her cool patterns and if I can make it brighter on her just now and the gorgeous pastel people who are into fairy k would obviously really really love mary d here look at her beautiful eyes and if you've watched the bed tour one she actually whoop, <laughs> uh, she i wasn't going to put this in here but she actually reminds me a lot in the eyes to my beautiful fantasy bear so if you haven't seen the <laughs> if you haven't seen the bed tour i talk about her and explain fantasy but look at the eyes so she's got those beautiful pink wing tipped eyes and this one has got that too i really love that i really love that design and so we've got Rainbow Manny, which is literally his name. So there was Manny Moose, which is over here. So that's the normal, you know, Moose logo, because Zelfs are made by Moose Toys guy with his cute little smiling face. He is a big favorite of a lot of collectors. So there's the cute little Manny. I've got a particularly nice Manny with cheeks. And here's the extremely rare version, the Rainbow Manny. So this is what it looks like. And that's what he looks like. So we'll have him compared to, say, a the Rainbow One, painted Rainbow One. So I got a custom painted one, and then I got the actual Rainbow, Rainbow One. But if we put them side by side, they did a pretty good job. So the one on the right is the custom, the painted one. And the one on the left is the actual Rainbow Manny. So there's some slight differences in the colours. And obviously I do prefer the actual Rainbow Manny. I just think that the purple is a lot prettier and it just looks smoother, but... I think it's still cool if you if you paint one, if you don't have one, if you paint one, it can still turn out pretty cool. So that's what the actual Rainbow Manny looks like from the back. And we have the painted Rainbow Manny. So side by side, let's put this here so it stops shaking and annoying you. Side by side, that's the differences in the colours. You know, and obviously the painted one wouldn't have the print on the bottom of the foot. But yes, so they were all ones I got myself slowly over time. And Shimmer, so they're all the rares, so I kept my promise of showing you what they look like outside of the display case and yes clover was the only real one that i got as a gift and the rest i tracked down myself so moving on i'm not i was not really a big fan of um shopkins but because I love anything to do with animals and colourful magical creatures, 
I really loved when they brought out in about season nine, Wild Style Shop um, Shopkins, they brought out the Shopettes. So these are the Shopettes, and sadly, just like with the Glimmies, um, let's see if I put the flash if it makes any better. Sometimes the flash just makes things look worse, but I'll put the flash on these guys. So these are the Shopettes. I really love this one. Look how pastel she is. I'll turn the flash off so you can just get some nice natural lighting on her. But they're so, so super cute. So we've got, we've got them on these little tiers. <laughs> and this is all of Season 9 bar the rare Rainbow Unicorn. And the other one was a Toys of Our, Our Us exclusive, which was Mia Moo. And if you know me well, you know that I love, love, love cows. I love pigs and cows. There's so many favorite animals, but I would absolutely love to get the cow and complete this. Now, lucky Americans get to, and Canadians get to have, actually, everyone that's not Australian, <laughs> I think even people in the UK get um, season 10. Now, Moose is an Australian company, but for whatever reason, they did not bring out season 10 of the Shoppets. So the cute little llama and all of that, I won't be getting it, and I just didn't feel like paying eBay prices because it all adds up with the postage. So sadly, I'm missing out on season 10, which I really love. But I'd love to add them to the little tiered thing. And that's what I was showing you from the start is the Rainbow Sparkle is the rare unicorn one that goes with those guys. So, And yeah, I never really got into Shopkins before. So I don't really have a lot of the dolls. I love this. But this doll actually came with one of the little bears here. There's a bear on either side. I forget which one she came with. But she came with one of the amber bears. And, yeah, when she just sort of came with them... I really, really liked her, so I wouldn't want to collect them. I've only got two of them, but um, I was kind of turned off by their faces. I felt they were a little flat, but now I actually think it's quite cute. And that's something that collectors experience a lot. There's my childhood unicorn up there, is that sometimes, sometimes when you are being completionist about something, you may end up realizing, hey, I should have just stuck to what I wanted because um, I don't like this piece. But a lot of the time, it kind of gets you to expand your likes and your interests because you discover toys that maybe you didn't give a chance at the time. But now that they're sitting on your shelf and now that you're looking at them all the time, they actually rub off on you and you find them quite cute. So... I would never collect them, but I did get this one because this one reminds me so much of Pixie Locks, and I love, love, love how she goes with Bunny Bow. Bunny Bow is obviously one of my favorites because I love rabbits as well. And look at her little rabbit shoes. So I've called this one Pixie because if you're a Pixie Locks fan or you watch her channel, this is obviously Pixie Locks as a Shopkin, wouldn't you say? Like, look at her, look at her. It's even got the rain, the um, rainbow bangs. It's even got that. She's even got the whole, like, pose with the little... I think she even has an outfit like that with little gloves. So it's very Harajuku style. And I have not put up the shelves for them yet, but I actually have... A complete collection of Novi Stars. So this is my favorite Novi Star, Vera Tabray. Obviously a play on 
names of the bones because she is this very cool she's got bones in her legs very cool looking fairy fairy alien elf or phalian i like to say <laughs> and she has absolutely beautiful colors pinks and silvers and her hair is a pastel silvery pink with streaks of black and i just love her i love her whole energy and her whole look she's just gorgeous but she's a very particular doll and she only likes sitting with certain dolls so she's actually been really enjoying the conversation with little pixie here so i've kept her in the corner and then we've got my sea monkey tank with jewel hair barbie which is a favorite of many collectors and i luckily got my hands on her and she is just look at her look at her look at her i've taken her out of the box i got her new in box and i wanted her to be in mint condition and i put her i put, basically brushed her hair had a bit of a look at her and put her straight on the shelf uh if i was going to play with her a lot i would definitely oh you can see the sea monkeys now i would definitely plait her hair and put it yeah put it into plaits or a bun because it gets tangled quite easily because it's really really long but seeing that i'm just sitting her there to display with her cool holographic fins i mean that's why i just took her fin off for fun and put it on this one but that's her fin and it's holographic so it sparkles really cool in direct sunlight very very pretty barbie but this one wanted to pretend to be a kitty princess mermaid so i'm letting her have her diva moment it's okay <laughs> but yeah when you take her fin off she's got pretty little golden shoes then we've got the sea monkeys, which I've vlogged about before, but at the time of vlogging, they were only a day old and you could only just barely make out some specs. But look at this. Look at these guys go. I'm just going to hold this on here for a bit. Yeah, I don't even have to go really close for you guys to see that. So this is about only the third day or the fourth day. They grow really fast. It is summer in Australia, so they grow better in warmer weather. Wow, I wonder how many of them they are. But I thought I would put the aquarium near the jewel hair mermaid Barbie. Now this Barbie is of particular interest she was a childhood favorite that i tracked down again she was actually european exclusive she's a cindy doll she's actually an acrobat she's very very cool she doesn't just look like an acrobat what she has in her feet is her feet actually if you can see that her feet point and then you can actually bend the feet her knees woo, chop it overboard <laughs> her knees bend she can do i won't take her off because it'll make the video too long but she can do the splits her arms move in the normal barbie way but she can do the splits sideways and forwards she's very agile um she's got there's ankle ankle and foot joints she's got knee joints her arms aren't very articulated they just do the normal barbie sort of bent pose She's got cool purplish violet eyes and she's actually got a different face shape to Barbie. So the European dolls actually have a more sort of heart shaped, square shaped, strong looking jaw, which I really like. So they've got this more, yeah, it's a different kind of face shape, which I really enjoy. And she actually came with this thing that you hook her into and you roll it. It's got a wheel and you roll it across the floor and it makes her turn and do somersaults. So she was a very cool toy. 
So I'm concerned about time that I skipped over one of the main things on this shelf, which we talked about the Shoppets, Sea Monkeys, Jewel Barbie, Cindy Doll, Shopkins, Novi Stars, Jewel, Puppy Surprise, Zelfs, Giant. Ah, we've got Design your zelfs over here and the thing that i missed was actually slumber party barbie but i forgot to show you guys i actually have three of these you can see the sparkles in the eye i'm gonna put this lamp on and show you but they actually have gorgeous sparkling eyes and even though it's summer over here the lighting's not that good but they look lovely in the sun and you can design these. These are great, perfect for customing. And I intend to keep two pristine and one customed. So you've got these design yourself guys. One of them has this smile like this. And yeah, I think these two had the little smile. And then there was a different version, if you can see, that has the really wide smile. So he's got that. And I think they released different ones in different countries. Oh, you can see some of the shininess now. Come on. Come on. There we go. I was holding it too close. But yeah, I've got these three guys and I'm going to custom one of the little smiley ones and keep one blank example of the little smile and one with the wide smile so it'll be a complete set of design yourself design yourself selfs and then the other thing that we had missed out on which i almost forgot to mention was little cumulio here named after the cumulus clouds Cumulus cloud? I don't know how to say that. And this is a flappy, flaffy, flaffy puppy. It's spelt like F L A double -F, F Y, so it's more like turn that lamp off. That lighting's gross. Yeah, so it's a flaffy puppy from the eighties, a Disney toy. I've never seen the series, but I just thought he was so pastel and I love yarn colored yarn dogs. So it's got this little bonnet. It's got a cute little, cute little bonnet and very pastel pinky blue colors, quite rare to find. And sitting on top is Slumber Party Barbie. Now the reason her eyes look so strange is because if you put heat, uh, hot water or ice on her eyes, her eyes could actually open or shut based on heat. So they kind of, because it's summertime, they kind of, I had them shut before, but the heat is just opening them. So they're in this weird sort of stage where she has this very dreamy oracle look about her because her eyes are stuck between <laughs> open and shut, which I actually think is quite cool for what I was trying to do with this whole shelf, was give it a very fantasy, dreamy, ooh, a very fantasy, dreamy vibe to the whole thing. And she definitely fits the bill with her whole look. On her eyes so I've already done the self shelf tour so I'm not going to go through all of this and I think this is about the right amount of time for you to see all of the shelf and how it looks so I'm just gonna sweep it over but I've done a full hour tour where you can see every single self to as much detail as your heart desires 
But this is what the whole thing looks like now that I've rearranged it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and the new guys that I had in that top corner over there. <laughs> and look how magnificent all of these selfs look standing together. It's just amazing. It's so beautiful. And they look lovely with the fairy lights. <laughs> so I have this which you see in the other video, but I just love this sit and twirl for the Zelfs. <laughs> so, there we go. That is... I'll just back. Back! <laughs> I'll try and get back so we can give you a full view of the whole thing. But that is what they all look like together without having to. So there's my bedside table. And that's what, that's what I have in the bedroom is this full display. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you enjoyed the new setup and I will do updates when I do any drastic changes to the top of the self shelf. All right. See you later, dreamers. Bye.